Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a look at this digital clamp meter from Kai Wheats. Appears to be the HT206A. So, let's get that box open and uh, see what they sent us. And yes, this was sent out free of charge for our consideration by our friends at Kai Wheats. Kai Wheats. So that we can take a look at it, I can give you my honest opinion. So we got probes, batteries, the meter itself, nice, uh, fits in the hand real nice. Very clicky. I like that. And we have a manual. Let's have a look in there, huh? All right, well, the first thing I'm seeing is it only measures AC current. So that is slightly disappointing. I was hoping it did AC and DC current. So that's, as a bench hobby meter, probably not going to be your best bet. But as an all-around household meter, yeah, probably pretty good. So specifications, we've got 4,000 counts, true RMS, runs on two AAA batteries, weight, security standard, pollution level 2. Operating temperature, operating amp, blah, blah, blah. So there's our ranges. DC volts, 400 millivolts, 4 volts, 40 volts, 400 volts, 600 volts. AC volts, 4 volts to 600. AC amps, 4 amps to 600. Yeah. All right. Let's put some batteries in her. So today is uh, December 16th, about a week before Christmas 2021, and it's like 60-some degrees outside here in Ohio, well, the Ohio Valley area, let's call it. Um, you guys don't know where I'm at. I am on the border between Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia, about 30 miles from Pittsburgh. So even though I live in Ohio, this is pretty much a uh, suburb of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today, just to change things up for the holiday season, we will use the supplied probes. Generally, we always use the same set of probe master probes. That way, we're only measuring the uh, differences in the meters when we're looking at different meters as opposed to the meters plus you know, a different random set of cables. But, uh, not going to worry about that today. So we'll take off the uh, little protectors here. And we're going to start off with some resistance measurements. There we have our light. And we'll be using the old good old Olenko resistance box. And we will start out at 10 ohms. Now modern meters generally gonna be pretty good with this kind of stuff. Uh, we got something to prop it up here. As you can see, we're at 10.3. Let's go to 22, 21.8, 220 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 97, hmm, interesting, 2200, 21.72, and 4700, 46.5. All right, let's jump on over to kilo ohms. We should get 10K here. 
100K, 98.8, and 1 meg, 1.079. So, yeah. Yeah, but I don't expect any difference. Modern meters are just using, you know, an IC to measure this stuff, right? We will do our continuity check. Very nice. All right, now we're going to have a look at capacitor range. Here it is 0.1 microfarad. Man, that's all over the place. Yeah, this is 0.1 microfarad. Hundred thirty two nanos. Huh. Let's go. 10 microfarad. Yeah, pretty close, 10.22, no problem. And we've got a thousand microfarad cap here. Yeah. Capacitor reading is uh, a bit on the slow side. 0.966 millifarad, which is close enough to 1,000, so that's cool. All right, let's take a look at AC voltage. Plug her in back here. Generally, we're around about 123 and a half volts in this area. <laughs> oh, you don't want to stay, do you? Well, we got extra voltage today. Thank you, American Electric Power. We're at 125.5. They must have uh, bumped it up a little bit for the winter time. Cool. All right, let's have a look at DC voltage. For this, we'll be using my new AD9833 voltage standard, which is currently on two and a half volts. And you can see 2.506, looking good. Five volts. seven and a half and 10 volts so it's looking good now if we want to hold that we have a little hold button here and now even as I disconnect the probes you can see we're still there so the hold feature works out pretty nice all right Let's check out the current clamp. All right, welcome to my basement. This is my dryer. And this is the dryer fuse panel, 230 volts AC. So let's give it a test here. We'll put this on 40 amps. Clamp that guy in there like so. Turn the light on.
pulling what 7.6 amps simple to use now I don't know if you guys noticed it or not but when both we were measuring the AC voltage and the AC current the meter lit up so that's nice to let you know that you are in the presence of AC current now it also has an automatic shut off function will shut off the meter after 15 minutes but it says if you hold the function button for more than two seconds see that little clock there well that didn't seem to do anything again maybe because that light is on one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five. Nothing. I swear that's what it said. Automatic shutdown. To deactivate the automatic switch off, hold down the function key for more than two seconds. All right, let's just try a different range. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. I don't know. Doesn't seem to do much. But, you know, hey. Neat little household meter. Throw it in your toolbox. Go take a look at it on the computer. All right, so here we are looking at it on uh, Amazon and take a look here at the honey uh, in the last 30 days there's been a 25 percent price increase on these which is you know because they've been sending them out to every youtuber that has one so the Kuwait's clamp meter the, the HT206A true RMS 4000 counts auto ranging amp voltage test with backlight measures AC current AC DC voltage capacitance resistance dies and continuity $25.99. It is Cat 3 600 volts. Maybe. Double insulated. Probably. <laughs> Seven day a week, 24 hour service. I doubt it. But, like I said, it's a decent little meter. It's 25 bucks. Eh, I can't find anything wrong with it. So, I would like to thank Kai Wheats for sending that out to us. I would like to thank you for watching this video and being with me all this time. I surely appreciate your friendship. That's it. I'm out. Peace.